Guess what? Got a fever. The only prescription is more cowbell. Say, baby. Uh, Yuri managed to rescue Mew from the Shrine of Refer I just read this. But obtained no new information about Hisoka. The only clues she has are a photography... The only clues she has are a photogra photograph... I need to learn how to read. A photograph found in the camera obscuria and the vision she saw when she touched Hisoka's charm. These lead Yuri to believe Hisoka is somewhere upstream. Clinging to this last hope of finding her friend, Yuri heads towards the Lake of the Departed, located on Mount Hakami Summit. Yes, go back to Murder Mountain. Awesome. Santa's Sleigh? Yes. Santa's Sleigh is, is ton, tons of fucking fun. Santa's Sleigh, um, the Silent Night, Deadly Night movies, um... Uh, better watch out Christmas evil there's so much good shit <laughs> I wonder who the real gay ones are Fist of Fury that's a great fucking movie man good Bruce Lee flick <clears throat> hey thanks for the sub Crow I appreciate it and uh welcome good to see you man I found Mew but I've made no progress with finding Hisoka. This is all I have to go on. The photo of the vision I saw when I touched Hisoka's charm. She was standing on water. There's a lake on the summit of Mount Hakami. It's called the Lake of the Departed. Hisoka might be there. Yeah, and I'm sure she's totally alive. Is it still raining? God damn it. My boob is going to get all wet. That's horrible. What the hell? Why am I hearing people talking? Are you guys hearing that too? What the actual fuck? Alright. Whoa. The balls was that. Big crazy booger. Just gets through here. Can I have this? Without being molested? Thank you. Can I have this? Okay. And I see we're on the same page tonight, ghosts. Ooh, I was I was like hovering right on the cusp of letting go of the button that whole time. That's a sexy outfit she's wearing? No, it's functional. It's functional and uh, practical. <laughs> Game of Death is okay. I'm sure the Bruce Lee had completed it. Yeah, well, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, you bastards. Didn't even try for it, huh? Well, how about that? I thought maybe I'd get a picture of a wandering ghost down there. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going this way. Fuck. Yeah, see, now I'm going to get all wet. Fuck. My flower is blooming. Also, goddamn. There's some... Oh, yeah, Team Ninja game. <laughs> or not a Team Ninja game, a uh, Tecmo Koei game. So, yeah. There be jiggle physics. <laughs> okay. So, we're not going to go... Fuck, I missed it. Who was that? She was going this way. Man, I don't want to go back to fucking this place. I, almost, I fucking died here last time. Hisoka Kurosawa. Oh, she went. She took the side road. Okay. Dope. I don't have to go that way. But there's an item up these stairs. We like wet booba. Okay. Well, as long as chat's happy. Ooh. Super powerful film. So she ran off into the woods. I guess we're going to follow. 
You asshole. This dude's a fucking asshole. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not fighting him on this side path. I'll fight him here where I can actually move around a little bit. Come on, dickhead. Yeah, I see you. God damn it, I couldn't dodge. Aha! Suck it. I'm gonna use the stronger stuff. This guy's fucking annoying. I do not like this guy. Die, asshole. Yeah. I'm being dead. It's like you're wearing toilet paper on your face. Alright. Have I seen the Fatal Frame movie? Yes. Yes, I have. It was okay. There's... 10 million Japanese ghost films based off of uh, the legend of the Himuro Mansion. So, oh, the Forbidden Valley. It's nice to be here. Man of culture. Yeah, where's my wet ghost booba? That's what I came here for. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Sacred Wada. Oh, great. <sighs> Fuck you, game. <laughs> yeah, walking through a flooded cemetery. Thanks. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> you faked me out. I was positive I was going to get grabbed here. Motherfucker, okay. This is not going to be a fun... If something comes at me in here, I'm going to have to bust out the super powerful film just to kill it really quick. Or cleanse it or what the fuck ever. Goddamn right, I'm a man of culture. I watch all of the hentai. Did I say that out loud? Hey, what's up, bro? Yeah, you fucking go over there. What is this? Yo, this dude got fucking wrecked. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Pussy. Man, I wish I spoke Japanese. Nah, he's fucking gone. That's right, you bitch ass motherfucker. Let me pull out your memories. Or just fuck off. That's fine too. Anti-madness. <laughs> uh, 
No, nah, she went back that way, so let's go this way and see what the fuck we've got. Oh no, we got red flowers. Red flowers. Proceed. Proceed where? Lantern line path ends suddenly. Wonder where it used to lead to. Ah! Huh? Huh? Come on! Alright, fine. You know that thing we told you was a bad idea? You gotta do that now. Can she moonwalk? No. No, no, no. Moonwalking through graveyards is strictly a Simon Belmont move. Nobody else possesses the skill necessary. And plus, I think Simon's skirt is shorter than hers. So, there's that. What? Oh, god damn it, no! Not you! There's Hachishakshu-sama. Hi! You're fucking terrifying! Fucking... Hachishakshu translates into as, um, eight feet tall. She's an urban legend. Old ghost story. Oh shit, did I get her? Yo! Can you leave me alone now? Fuck. Worth the climb, though. I'll tell you that much. That's a bit. That's a huge bitch! <laughs> What's up, Razor Beast? Uh, and Hobo Films. I don't know if I gave you a shout-out when you came in, man. I see you, though. I see you down there. I've always toyed with this idea. If I was on a date with somebody and things are really going good instead of Netflix and chill, hentai and chill... Um... That's a bold move, my friend. You, uh, you're definitely gonna find out real quick uh, what kind of person you're with if you bust out some fucking hentai in the midst of a date. Yes. Lady Dumitresk? Yeah. Fuck! You bitch! I was looking at chat. That's not fair. Give me that film. Oh, man, there's sacred water right on the other side, too. Shit, man. Lady Dumitresk, yeah. Her booba wasn't that big. Uh, yeah, Lady Dumitresk was partially inspired by Hachishakshusama. Absolutely. The aesthetic is... Uh, the parallels are glaring. It's where you gotta read the room a little more, I know. Um, I don't know that it's it's I mean if 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 you could casually slip in a reference, you know, like while you're on the date, be like, so you ever seen uh Uratsuki Doji, you know? Get fucking wrecked, bitch. Ah, he's wearing that fucking mask and I can't focus on him until I knock it off. Now you're all done, son. So why don't you get the fuck out of my way? Uh, yeah, but Capcom appears to have injected a fair amount of horny into their take on the 8-foot lady. Um, have you been on the internet, sir?
Aha! That's not what I want. I want this. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> oh, you like anime? Have you ever seen La Blue Girl? That's a good dateline. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, you're into anime. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, what do you like? You like, uh, what, like Death Note and Bleach and shit? Okay, yeah. We should go back to my place. I got this new one I just picked up. It's called Aristocons. <laughs> You piece of shit. I hate you the most. Use some strong film to take this guy out. Ow! Ow! That was not... Not okay. You seen the big tits, dragon? <laughs> Isn't there a bit where you have a fly swatter and smack Lady Damatras ass? Dude, that's a, that's a fucking mod. Bitch ass motherfucker. Die. You piece of shit. I hate you. You can't wait till I get to the point where I can tear that guy's memories out and banish him forever. You've seen the big tits dragon. Moment resume late drop mods said free real estate. Yeah, I mean, it's... That is what it is, man. Every time a game drops now, you're going to get horny. There will always be horny. Accompanying every game release since the advent of mods. I remember the glory days of Horny. When we used to fucking like, you know, talk about the, the fabled nude codes <laughs> for Tomb Raider and shit. God damn it, dude. You bitch ass motherfuckers. Let me pick up the goddamn plot. I dropped it. Hisoka's journal has been left here. I'm pretty sure she came this way after all. Uh, beyond the Forbidden Valley is the sacred ground at the summit, the twi the Twilight. I think it's supposed to be Twilight Peak, and the Lake of the Departed. If she has the ability, it's possible she was led there, or perhaps I'm the one who's being called to that place. Hmm. That's it. National Geographic's free titty. Yeah, that was, um, those were dark times when the best you could do was National Geographic. <laughs> Just go steal something from a newsstand, honestly. It's fine. What are we talking about? <laughs> oh, that's right. Fatal Frame. Uh,. Okay. So what do we got here? Where am I? Anton La Chocolate needs to be in here? Absolutely. Anton La Chocolate would not put up with any of this shit. He would not put up with any of these fucking little ghost bastards running around like assholes. Fuck you, kids. He'd roll up in here and kick the dog upside down and start fucking knocking shit over. The bottle of Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> okay, so she went that way. Isoka Kurosawa in front of the Jizo. Ah, uh, Jizo. I learned about them from Sekiro. And Tenchu. Even though Sekiro is basically Tenchu. Up, up, down, down. That is not the nude code. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna try it later, but hey, man, looking, looking fucking dapper with your chef's hat and bib. Well, that's Mario. 
Hey. <laughs> Although he doesn't have giant balls, so he's not in his tanuki suit. Yes, these are interesting little Jizo statues. It's a row of five Jizo statues draped in cloth. Hooray. Hey, at least it stopped fucking raining. Is there a noon mod on this? I'm at positive there is. What kind of question is that? Of course there's nudity. Fuck. It's out of focus. No, come back, boss lady. Uh-oh. Grandma! I do not want to see her booba. The fuck is this Japanese Suspiria? Great. I'm an idiot and got in the box. <laughs> what did you learn? What the fuck? What is this? Die, Grandma! I see you. Die, you old bitch. <laughs> you want some of this? Hey? Oh, what the fuck was that? Purple stuff. Oh, yeah, I dodged that shit. Get off me. Oh, shit, man. I need some health. Uh, there we go. Full health. No camera. My only weakness. Hey, what's up, Knight Rider? Good to see you, bro. All right. She's over here somewhere. Go ahead. Try your bullshit. I will fuck you up. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. I run away now. Like the true hero I am. Get away from me. Yeah, you go over. Dude, this bitch is annoying. What the hell? Ow! What the fuck is even hitting me at this point? I'm just getting hit by invisible projectiles all over the place. Ow! Oh, 
she's doing this shit where she spits out a whole bunch of projectiles. fucking die please oh no did I fucking get her finally oh thank fucking Christ she's dead die she's taking a lot of hits yeah I was using Type 90 film, too. That's nothing to fucking joke about. If only James Wan made a Fatal Frame movie. Why? So it'd suck? We must forge more pillars. The Great Pillar is collapsing. The black water will overflow. The black water must be contained before the Great Pillar melts away. Hey, I got extra journals. I became a shrine maiden after I survived that flood. I was half dead when I awoke, alone amongst the corpses. I could see things, things that no one else could see. That was my calling. I purified my body, and when I arrived at the mountain, mountain, I was overwhelmed with a cacophony of voices. The talking trees, the whispering stones, the weeping water. Echoes of past prayers piled up one on top of the other. Time slowed to a crawl, and I could see each individual raindrop that fell. The veins on every leaf stood out vividly. Images of death flashed in front of me. I could smell the choking stench of death. I was told I would need more training. I wanted to flee as soon as I arrived, but I had no home to run away to. No matter where I go, it will be the same. In the end, I will be alone. So uplifting. I got the blow lens. Hey, finally! <laughs> You're all right, game. Lens that allows you to deal twice the normal damage output to targets? Fuck yeah. Use it, equip it to your camera obscure, and press square when you have enough spirit power. Dope. Super strong, ultra mega fucking camera lens. Lenses. What am I using? Crush. Deals more damage to targets based on its level. Stun. Restore. I guess I'll get rid of stun. Yes, I'll use the blow me lens. Absolutely. What the fuck? Crush. Slow lens. Okay. Uh, those are my upgrades. Let's do some enhancements real quick while we can, huh? God knows I have a lot of fucking points. And this will let me increase attack range. That's important. Spirit power absorbed. We'll, do, we'll take that. There's no reason not to. Uh... Okay, that's uh, that's what we can do for right now. The Ring was the only good American adaptation. Ah, eh, it's debatable. I mean, Ringu is a better film. It's a better made film. It's it's better directed. It's more competently shot. Um, the Gore Verbinski American version of The Ring is passable. But honestly, that it was also responsible for the advent of the influx of Asian horror remakes that we got. Like, you know, crap like Dark Water and Shudder and all that crap. You! Maiden Booba. Hi. Heading to the lake. The Grudge? The Grudge was crap. Juon is an amazing film. 
Look, I'm not saying that the American approximations of Japanese horror films are inherently bad. I'm just saying that why are you remaking films that translate and are just as creepy in any language? It's fucking retarded. Just leave it alone, man. Standing in the lake. Great, I'm going to go out there and everything's going to be fucking fine. Fine like wine. Pinwheel. Fuck my safety. Yeah, great plan, Yuri. Run out into the middle of Murder Lake. And yes, everything is murder. Oh, wow, what a surprise. Black hair. <laughs> uh, can I run away? Or am I just going to get raped? I'm about to get hentied in this lake. Oh, no, it's you again. She stole my flower. No. Go to hell. Do I have to fight her now? I gotta get the fuck out. Oh, shit, son. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. She just instant killed me. Okay. What? Did I win? Dope. <laughs> I escaped. It's the beach from before. Have I lost her? I should leave here and get away from the mountain. Mountain! <laughs> Yuri laughs at you. <laughs> she laughs from a mountain. Of ghosts. Uh, Yuri followed Ahsoka's trace to the shore of the Lake of the Departed where it vanished into the mist. In her place, a woman appeared, the same dark presence seen in Ahsoka's photograph. Unable to inflict any damage with the camera obscura, Yuri's only option was to run. Yuri recalled the outline of a large Tory gate over the misty lake. Could that be where Ahsoka was headed? Yes. Boom. A ranking. Suck it, game. One of these days I'm going to kill that ghost bitch. Just you. One of these days I'll get that filthy animal. All right. We're on the eighth drop already, man. We blew through that fucking chapter. Nice. Six-headed shark attacks. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Most Americans hate subtitles. You prefer them to shitty remakes? Look, I'm one of those people that is of the paradigm that if a film was already well done and executed and effective in the first place, then why are you fucking remaking it? Because all you're doing is chasing somebody else's success. It makes you look like a talentless dick. Honestly. Um, that's why I hate all of the Bay makes, uh, Regardless of the varying degrees of tolerable that they are same thing with rob zombies halloween they are they can be as competent or as good or as 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 well done as any other modern film but you are instantly inviting a comparison to something that is already beloved so you're asking for trouble you you have people going into your film already thinking about a better film why would you do that you can you can be inspired by something. I'm not talking about the Tarantino kind of inspiration. I mean, like, you can be, like, legit inspired by a film and do it. You can do a sequel. You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's fine. But remakes and reboots are mostly foolish on their face. Unless you're taking something that did not work because it didn't have uh, a strong enough script. It didn't have enough um, of a budget. The shit like that. Like, that is a, that is a valid reason to take something like, hey... I love this cheesy fucking movie. Let's give it 
the the budget and the attention and the talent that it deserved and let's do that not let's let's you know fucking jam the first four friday the 13th movies into one film and make it absolutely insufferable because that's a great plan Mew and yuri sleep after returning from mount hikami Learning that Haruka has been taken by a ghost, Ren and Hurry keep a watchful eye on the girls to prevent it happening again. Yes. Fuck. Uh, I have ten embers. I'm going to buy another one of these because that ghost lady rolled up on me and fucked me up. Took one of those away. Go to 30. Go to 40. Go to 60. Yes. Okay. Off we go. The Witching Hour. Ren Hojo. Oh shit, that's Ghost in the actual the shop. That's not good. <clears throat> Great. When Yuri returns from Monokami's summit, she quickly collapses from exhaustion. Meanwhile, Mew is also in an unnaturally deep slumber. Worried that some unwanted visitors may be on their way, Ren and his assistant, Rui, decide to watch over the girls through the shop surveillance system. And we can take pictures of the ghosts. Uh-huh. That's not creepy. Why are those cameras in there? Oh, great. It's raining. But is it normal rain or chubby rain? She's getting molested. Great. Hey, that's not my outfit. Goddamn pre-rendered cutscenes. Oh no, little brother, sister, are you okay? Good to know. Uh, you smell toast? Yuri seems to be unconscious, or maybe just asleep. I wonder what the rumbling was. Something must be happening on the mountain. Yuri and Mew have both been affected by the noise. I should make sure they're okay. Yes. Yes. I have a penis, so I'll save the day. Well. Something strange is happening. Patrolling the hallways won't do much good. These are checked surveillance cameras. <laughs> Fuck actually leaving and doing something. I'll run over here. Haruka Momose, the girl you saved, was led away by the ghost of a girl who killed herself. Something might have come again. I need to check the surveillance camera feeds to see if the girls are okay. Okay, man. You've said it like five fucking times. Switch between cameras automatically. Okay. I see. Current camera's location is shown on the top of the screen. Current, okay. Nice. Gotcha. It's all good. Yeah. Everything's fine like wine. No ghosts here. Good for me. Uh, they both seem to be fine, but I should keep checking on them every now and then just to be sure. They've been acting strange since the ominous rumble. What's happening on Mount Hikami? I should look into the mountain's history. They must have some books about it here. Uh, yeah, man, there's books all over the place. Really? Local customs. Seems to be about customs in the area around Mount Hikami. Now it's Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, I'm turning this shit off if that happens. Mikomori. In the area around Mount Hikami, there is a custom of receiving water from the mountain. The people call it Mikomori, and it is placed in casks to bring to their homes used only for special ceremonies. Is used to give a newborn its first bath or to cleanse the bodies of the dead. This stems from the belief that the soul comes from the water and returns to it in death. 
Another use for this water is known as cry of the mountain. According to an old woman in the village, there is a saying, when Hikami lets out a cry, one must wash in Mikomori. When Mount Hikami cries out or rumbles, one ritually immerses oneself or otherwise wets oneself with water. Yes. Nice and deep like. The custom likely comes from the mountains sound being a bad omen and they use the pure water as a sort of ward. These motherfuckers are obsessed with hydration. But when the water dries, your daughters may be gone. Do not go and search when the mountain is awake. Uh, what? <laughs> this must refer to girls being taken out of the, to the mountain after the ward has worn off. An explanation for the number of girls going missing in the area. Also, the, there was the dude who was killing shrine maidens. That was a thing. I guess I should periodically check. But not so periodically. Hydration is important. I'm aware. Frosted glass, what? Ah, here we go. Tales of photography. The Mikamori region has many anecdotes regarding the act of photographing the dead. Many are simple superstitions, but some allow us a glimpse into the customs of another time. These stories show both great understanding and great fear. Vanishing. A man showed a photograph to a friend. The picture showed the faint silhouette of a person. Upon seeing the silhouette, the man cried out and ran, leaving the photo where it was. Each time the man looked at the photo, the silhouette grew more and more distinct. It was his friend. It is said that his friend disappeared after that. The Photo Bride A local fool suddenly declared that he had married. The village threw a celebration, but no one had seen the bride. Someone went to the man's house and could hear the sounds of a woman talking within. However, looking inside, he saw only the man from behind with no sign of a woman. Days passed, and the man hasn't left his house, so one of the villagers went to check on him. There was no one in the house, only an old photograph left behind. In the photo was a bride hiding her face, and the missing man was at her side. The man who saw the photo said the bride appeared to be smiling. Really need to investigate Mount Hikami and find out what's going on there. Yes. All right. Okay. Gotcha. Good to know. Aye. Alrighty then. Looking good. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, god damn it. Oh no, it's what's her fuck. Uh, so should I just keep sitting here and not do anything? There's static in the feed from Yuri's room. I better go check it out. Gotcha. Get up. Okay, if something strange happens on the camera, get up and investigate it. Ah! Captain Dumpy Pants to the rescue. Nice that you sleep in your rave outfit. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Uh, shit, I don't remember. Where's the ma map? Here we go, map. Uh, where's Yuri's room? Yuri's room is upstairs. Yes. Yes. Let the penis come save you. What is that walking upstairs anime? That was, that was <laughs> embarrassing. Uh, Yuri's room. Okay, so I'm right here. All right, bitch. You take pictures of you while you're sleeping. Hey, you cut your own throat in the mountain. Go away. You better fuck off. What was that? Fucking whiff? You want some of this? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come back. Yeah, you better piss off. Nope. Uh-huh. 
Get off my lawn. Oh shit, I hit her with the ultra mega thing. Fuck! I hit the button. I hit the wrong button. Did not know she was just gonna appear right fucking behind me. Okay. Well, it's a good thing Yuri didn't wake up because she's sleeping like a fucking rock. Bro, really? Just let me pick this up. I need this. I've never needed anything more. Yuri's notebook seems she's written in it like a diary. Yes, let's read the girl's diary while she's, a, she's passed out. Seems these goat just want hugs, yes. Am I implying that Ren is not the epitome of manliness? Jesus Christ. Yeah, he makes me look like a big pussy. Uh, Yuri's Notebook 1. When my heart gets weak, I can't even breathe. It takes all my strength just to breathe. All I can do is take a take the breath and then hope to take another. I were exhausted and spent all my strength just to live. I am aware of death and I see. People whispering. People with broken faces. People with ruined bodies. People who stare at me from bloody sockets. People crying endlessly. All I can do is close my eyes, cover my ears, and wait for the moment to pass. They are always watching me. They say I don't belong here. It should have gotten better. It should have gotten better. Oh, she sees dead people. Mother fucker. Who? I didn't even see what I was... I... Yeah, no, this isn't creepy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Maximum creep factor. <laughs> yeah, that's a portrait. Sure. Oh, confirm. Confirm that she's okay. She seems to be having a nightmare, but is otherwise okay. What the fuck? Who's that big, blonde penis? Hey. Hey. Buddy, you get away from my women. Continue surveillance. Metal Gear. Hello? Yeah. That's what I thought. Let me open this drawer. It's full of ghosts. Or fabric. Hmm. I'll take that. Female Perspective. Appears to be a book by folklorist Keiji Watarari about shrine maidens. Maybe there's something in here about the maidens of Mount Hakami. The shrine maidens of Mount Hakami were tasked with leading pilgrims to death. Stop the fucking presses. They were feared, and people thought a maiden's glance stripped away the soul. Tales of ghost shrine maidens are common in Mount Hakami. My research into Japanese folklore has led me to believe that an underlying fear of women permeates the very culture. <laughs> I had no idea. But who were the Shrine Maidens? As women who immersed themselves in water and led people to their deaths, the Shrine Maidens of Mount Okami call to mind tales of bewitching sirens. Hmm. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. Uh, the traditions of Mount Akami came to an end in an incident where the Shrine Maidens were all murdered. The incident was most likely spurred on by this fear the locals had of Shrine Maidens. Yes, misogyny runs rampant on Mount Hakami. Bring the kids. I should get back to watching surveillance camera feed. Or, I should read this. Ghost marriage. The custom of marrying the dead is seen elsewhere too, but the ghost marriage of Mount Akami was unique. Rather than being done to mourn the dead, the ghost marriage seems to have been part of a ritual in which shrine maidens were sacrificed. Similar traditions join the dead with an imaginary spouse depicted in votive pictures. However, on Mount Akami, it seems living men were brought to, in to be bound to the maidens. Once on the mountain, the men were not allowed to leave. The ghost marriage brought in outsiders to soothe the soul of the Shrine Maiden and to strengthen the pillar she had become. Unable to leave the mountain, the Shrine Maidens would wait for a man to come and die with them. Uh, look. 
What's up, dead bro? Man in mirror. And he's gone. Alright, I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to get back to my cameras so I can creep on more people. Come on. Let's go back to watching sleeping women. Oh my god. This run cycle. <laughs> There we go. What about you? I can't even talk to you. You're just... You're fucking just dead, I guess. Looking good? Gotcha. She's fine. Front door's good. Always good. Alright. Glad to know I'm fine. What the fuck? That bitch was gone. Uh, well, that's not right. I'm glad Yuri's okay. Oh shit. That's not good. Okay, Mew. Night trap? Yeah, kinda. Just wait for my fucking guitar solo on the tennis racket. Bro. Motherfucker. Uh, map. Where is Mew's room? Mm, that's Hisoka's room. That's your... Okay, so this, this must be Mew's room. Okay. Just kick the fucking door open, man. Why you get... Oh, it opens out. Everything seems normal. Maybe it was just static. Yeah, dickhead. Or there's something under the bed. Because I know there's something under the bed because I'm not an idiot like you. No, oh, no. Oh, Tales of the Sunset. Monokami sunsets, the rumbling. Maybe there's some clue in here. Monokami's name is thought to mean mountain that climbs higher than the sun. Some posit that it was once written in a way that means mountain of the sun gods, but that is far from certain. What is certain is that many tales about the sunset still persist to this day. People must only climb the mountain as the sun is setting. This likely comes from a local ceremony where those going to the mountain to greet their deaths would go at sunset when the netherworld was said to be closest to ours. One mustn't look at the mountain at sunset. You must stay inside when the mountain cries. The dark sun was a god of misfortune and calamity. The setting sun over Mount Okami was said to be an omen of this dark sun drawing people into their doom. Shouldn't we have just dynamited this goddamn place at this point? If there's so much, so many tales of people disappearing, committing suicide, dying, marrying ghosts, and shit like that. Why didn't they just blow the place up? Just fucking... Drop a nuke on it or something. That's how I take care of shit. Of course, now I'm talking about dropping nukes on Japan, and that's not exactly a good subject to bring up, so let's just go on with Tales of the Sunset. As for the cry, tremors are also often seen as a portent of calamity. On Mount Okami, it was thought that it was the water rumbling, and it is said that if you could hear it, you were eligible to become a shrine maiden. Other sources say that locals washed in special water when these tremors happened. Oh, hey, Ren heard it. He can be a shrine maiden. Dope. He can get Godzilla to take care of it. Exactly. Seems to be having a nightmare, but otherwise okay. All right. I got my eye on you. You think Japan has had enough nukes for now? Yeah, I think one was enough. <laughs> uh, that's not funny. Okay. Uh, why is the TV on? Did you turn the TV on? Why is the TV on? Portrait. 
nothing but static on the screen. I should probably switch the TV off. Whose ass? What? What the actual fuck? Hi. Who the hell is that fucking what's her name who died? Yeah, it is. That's fucked up, bro. Uh, she just swam through the door. Would you like to come back now? Hi there. Stop, you're getting... Fuck off. Yes, die. Okay. I saved the day. With the power of penis. Uh, Alright. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. This is going to be my entire evening. Well, it's good to know she's fine. Uh, they probably shouldn't be touching things. None of that belongs to them. But I'm fine. That's what's important. <clears throat> hey, Jerome Valesco, what's up, bro? Hashtag the power of Pingus? Yes. <sighs> fine, I'll go see what they want. God damn it. I hate it. You forget to lock the door and people just come wandering in. Couldn't read the sign. Clearly not open. Alright, dickhead. How about you, Captain Laughs? Shut your fucking mouth, maybe? Alright, well, you guys are fucking done for. Y'all come back now, you hear? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Alright, yeah, we're closed. Ghost is walking like, is this where the kegger is? Yeah. Straight rolling up in people's houses. Looking for beer. I know that feel. Alright. Surveillance. That's right. I cleared out the riffraff. Good for me. I do like this. This is different. They've never done this in a Fatal Frame game. Fuck. There's a shrine maiden out there in the, the garden. Uh, that's not good. Holy shit. Okay. Yuri's room is off. I should go check it out. Wait, where's Ruri? She must have woken up. Didn't say a word and pissed off. Okay. Remember in Dead Rising 1 where you got points for erotica pics? Yeah, where basically the, the game tasked you to take some upskirt photos of the female characters. Yes, I remember that. I should play uh, Dead Rising on here someday. That game's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't see a shrine maiden down there, so it's fine. I do need to get to Yuri's room before... Okay. Yeah. All right. Why not? What are you strangling her? I bet you are. 
I'm going to have to punch this little bitch. Uh, what? Where the fuck am I? Oh no, I'm in that shitty house again. <laughs> Dragged man. That was my friend. The one who called me. Why the fuck am I back here? I guess I'll follow all the poop that's on the ground. Oh, uh, that's water. There you are. Hey! Hold on, hold on. I have to pick this up. Rui's journal. Mr. Hojo is captivated by the woman in that photograph. He's never been good with women. <laughs> it's just more shit talk. But he's starting to change. I can't do anything about it. He's changing. I like to keep things between us just as they are. The relationship we have now. I like the ambiguity. But he's going to decide sooner or later. I wonder which way will he choose. Uh, okay. Man, I love this music. This is good shit. Ah. What's up, bro? Shadow in the dark. I see you. No, oh, stop. Come back. Alright. So... I'm back in uh, Watarai's house in the woods. That's not good. Wait for my film to regenerate. Yeah, this, this is gonna work. Oh, I was supposed to be protecting the women, but I fell asleep. Like the useless putt I am. Oh, great. It's that girl who died. You're in a cabin in the woods? Yeah, basically. Run into the angry molesting tree. Oh, God damn it. You know, I really can't be arsed to care about this one because I don't even know what the hell they're in this game for. They're my assistant, but I don't know what they assist me with because it really only seems like this character exists to talk shit about me in their journal and get me into trouble and have to get saved. I like the Princess Peach of Fatal Frame. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Good job, Ren. You failed. Miserably. That's fine. She just had to take a dump. Totally normal. Thank you for the panty shot, though, game. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, there she is. Oh, <laughs> Fucking everybody else does. <laughs> Be 
people people really need to stop touching her success <laughs> Ren is watching over the sleeping Yuri and Mew on the surveillance cameras, but he passes out. He has a dream where he is chasing after Rui. When he wakes up, both Yuri and Rui are gone. He finds Mew getting ready to leave for Mount Hikami, taking Yuri's camera obscura with her. The door shuts behind Mew, leaving a bewildered Ren behind. Acting constipated. Which I guess is what passes for surprise. Alright, well that's, that's another chapter down. Holy shit, chat. We are blowing through these tonight. We're already on ninth. We started on seven. Fuck yeah. Find Yuri Kozukata. Let's do it. Mew takes the camera obscura and heads to Mount Hakami to search for her. Fuck yeah. Um. Need more embers. Needs more mirror stone. Uh, get that up to 30. 45 20 Boosh The sacred casket All right Let's do it Off we go Mew wakes up to discover that Yuri has been taken to Mount Akami. She borrows Yuri's camera obscura and heads for the mountain. Against Ren's advice, he didn't really say anything. He just went, oh, like fucking Speed Racer. She hopes not only to find Yuri, but some clues to her mother's whereabouts as well. So we finally get our third playable character. I can sense that Yuri is headed for the mountain. These camera obscure might be able to save her. And I may find clues about where my mother is. Yes. But my outfit isn't as nice as Yuri's. What the? Slow motion shots. Hold down the shutter button. R2 to slow down ghosts. This consumes spirit power. When you let go of R2 and run out of spirit power, all targeted ghosts will take damage. Interesting. Yo! That was actually pretty fucking cool. trying to divide and conquer, I see. Yes? Can I help you? You seem to really have something to say. Camera Obscura is weird, like you have to hold it down to charge it. Really weird. That's gonna take some getting used to. Alright. Off I go. More type 14 film. I guess I should check inside this fucking place too. No, she has a much, much more like, I don't know, dainty run cycle than the other two. I think Yuri's the only one who runs like she hauls ass. I'll definitely take, I will take all of the fucking uh, embers that I can find. What the fuck? No, I want you to pick this up. There we go. And plot or more film? More film. Okay, fair enough.
Ren's got the daintiest run cycle. Ren runs like somebody who literally shit their pants at the fair and is trying to keep it from dribbling out of his pants. She runs like just somebody who doesn't know how to run. <laughs> I mean, that's that's honestly what this is. This is very dainty. This is barely a power walk. It's like the most casual jog in history. Okay. Path of the Ephemeral. Okay. So we're going this way. Oh, please tell me I don't have to go in this goddamn place again. Tell me she took the path. Yes. Thank you, Yuri. You sexy, sexy woman. And do not want to go back in this fucking place. Did not have fun in there. Like Steven Seagal? No. Steven Seagal runs like a silly bitch. You? The hell do you want? Japanese Jason? It's more like Japanese Patrick Bateman. See you. Well, that shitty tattooed on his face says. This is, uh, not working out too well. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Must keep going back this way. It's fine. fucking done yet? Nah, he's too far away. There we go. Plus he's fat. Runs like a girl and eats like E. Honda. Yeah, pretty much. This guy's taking a lot today, huh? What the fuck? I hit the button. Oof, he stabbed me. He stabbed me right in the booba. Can't have that. That's another mark on the bingo card. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, man, will you fucking die? Well, 
What the hell? I don't even know what just happened. I spazzed the fuck out. Dude, will you fucking die? This is ridiculous. It's taking way too long to put this guy down. There we go. Okay. He lights himself on fire and fucks off. All right. So, um, I won, I guess. To the Forbidden Valley. Uh, it was funny when Jean-Claude Van Damme mentioned that Steven Seagal should lose weight to be in the Expendables. Yeah. We don't need Steven Seagal in the Expendables. We only need, like, people that are actually, you know, good at kicking ass. As opposed to fat guys who eat carrots. Okay. So where did she go if she went this way? Hi. What you doing? You know, wasting my fucking super strong film on a random picture? That's me. So, fuck Yuri, I guess I'm... Well, Yuri went that way, but my mother went this way. Interesting. I wonder if it uh, matters which way I go first. Uh, this is going to take me to that path that disappears. Yes? Yes. Dense brush is blocking the way. I won't be able to get through. But that definitely was my mother. She's been here. Yes. Note from Miku. I have to go. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I wonder what's down this way. Anyway, right now I need to find Yuri. She may know something that will help me. You got it. I don't get distracted. Just get Clyde the orangutan from any which way but loose. To be an expendable? That'd be fucking dope. Man, I want fucking, like, Luigi Montefiore and uh, Daniel Green. They should have had John Saxon before he passed away being the Expendables as well. God, I'm still fucking bummed that John Saxon's gone. He was great. Fuck. May I fucking help you? Okay. Whoops. This bitch is teleporting everywhere. Yeah, I need you to die faster. Damn. Supposedly that does a lot of damage if you get to charge it up enough. Oh, 
Hi. Yes. Okay. Apparently she's shy. I love that one of the things that I love about the Fatal Frame games is that the ghosts actually emote and have like facial expressions and stuff like that. They look pained, they look angry, they look sad. Whereas the zombies in like Resident Evil have like one identifiable look on their face, which is just, you know, emptiness, hunger. And the creatures in Silent Hill don't even really have faces. Okay. I can do this all day. Hi. Hello. May I help you? Pouring out one for John Saxon, as you should be. Where the fuck did she go? She just disappeared, apparently. Alright. Fair enough. I'm out of here. On my merry way. Yeah, everybody have a drink for John. Dude's a fucking legend. Ooh. Shiny. Lucked out there. All right, well, let's hope everything proceeds uh, just fine from here on out. Smooth sailing. That's what I'm feeling. Hey, always take more stuff. I will always take more Type 90 film. That stuff is fucking awesome. Of course, I have to go around and get whatever's over there. But, you know. You don't have any alcohol, but you'll get a glass. Yeah, I didn't say that you had to drink fucking booze. I'm just saying have a drink. Drink a whatever, a toast. You can toast with whatever the fuck you want, honestly. What? What is, what is this graininess? There's something out there, I guess. Boy standing at a grave. Okay. Well, I can't really see him, so it's not a very good picture. Whatever you say, game. You don't drink alcohol? You refuse to? Alright. That's your fucking prerogative. Have a Shasta. Hi there. You okay? Oh, gonna get out of this water. Fuck! Apparently not. Okay, need to heal myself. Wow, this bitch is tearing me up. Yeah, get a Shasta like Frankenstein's monster does. Exactly. Boosh. Will you please go away and let me get out of the fucking water? Yo, this bitch is really fucking clingy. Hi. Excuse me, it's time to go now. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. 
All right, I can actually fucking move. That's what I'm talking about. As soon as I get out of the goddamn water. Okay. I hope you learned your lesson. It's the orange soda that'll make anybody happy. That's true. As far as alcohol is concerned, I've been drinking alcohol the whole time. I can't stream or face my kids without alcohol. It's necessary. It's like drinking my own urine. Because it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> All right. Come on, I want to find Yuri. She's my favorite. There she is. Heading to the Twilight Peak. The Twilight Peak. Why, hello there, dickhead. Okay. No, oh, his foot. I gotta make sure I get a picture of his foot. Nope. I got the jukes. The jukes. There's your fucking handsome face. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I thought that might do it. my merry way. Jesus Christ, I think I killed that door. It screamed like Steven Seagal runs. Like a bitch. Hey, what's up, Darren? Good to see you, man. Aha. Twilight Peak. I know, Twilight. So which way did Yuri go? I'm guessing she went back to box grandma. What? Fight the goddamn ghost kids again? Yeah, suck that. Die, kids. <laughs> Yeah, let's all run around like assholes. It's fine. Uh, can I fucking help you, little girl? Okay. I'm gonna go over here now. Need more wide open spaces. Goddamn kids. Yeah, exactly. Why is she glowing purple like that? Nope. Suck it. You got nothing on these jukes. Come on, little girl, die. Or die more. See, she's glowing purple, which leads me to believe that if she touches me, she's gonna hit me with that shit that drains your health. Hi there.
Yeah, that's right. All three of you little bastards. Are they dead? Yeah, it's just the little boy now. Yo, will you please fucking die? Damn, I must have, like, gotten no damage on this kid. There we go. Dead now? Good. Now I have to get back to adult business. She went that way. No, kids, you can't play games on my phone, yeah. Why don't you go get a fucking job like the rest of us, you little bastards? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Did they put Yuri in a box? Nobody puts Yuri in a box. Oh. It's a shrine. <laughs> uh, okay, she went this way. I'm gonna go get her. Gotta save Yuri. She's the best. Way better than this milk toast bitch. Old whammon. Okay, well, I'm not going over by Grandma, who just always wants to, like, put people in boxes. Let me go this way. <clears throat> so I'm guessing we're going back to the beach. Yes. Yes. The beach, where it's safe. No, Yuri, get out of the water. We just went through this. Literally last chapter went through this. No, come back. Yes, water is wet. I'll save you, just like that other old lesbian did. Yes. Now, scissor. Okay, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever said on stream. I take it back. My bad, chat. <laughs> not leaving you i lost my keys out here god why does everybody always react oh yeah that's why yuri you don't get to act surprised about this shit you knew this was here well maybe you wouldn't be all alone if you'd stop insta killing people that's her. She's too powerful. Even the camera obscura does nothing. We have to run. We have to run towards the shore where it's safe. You wavy bitch. No. I don't accept this. Yes, Yuri has the right idea. Flee! Oh, fuck. All right. Jesus Christ, dude. Yuri, which way did you fucking go? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's a whole lot of nope. What the fuck, dude? 
She just keeps popping up right in front of me. Okay, there's the gate. No, fuck you, what floating booba. Yes, let's push the door open a little bit slower. Okay. <laughs> I reject your reality and substitute my own. Where the hell am I? I'm back at the fucking train station already. Oh no! And I'm all wet. And so is Yuri. That's not good. That's right, we'll get up on the platform and I'll use an ember. Here we go. Uh, yes. There we go. Alright. Everything's fine like wine. Back off, sea bitch. Yo, sea bitch. Let's go. Okay. I think we can get in the train and get the fuck out of here. I don't think there's no items in there. Uh, you're playing on Switch? Uh, this is PS5. Tecmo Koei was nice enough to send me a copy of this. And welcome, by the way. ZVXYX... No, I'm sorry. ZVXWXVZ. Yes. How's it going? Do they use mocap for the run cycles? I don't know, man. I'd like to think nobody actually runs like that, but I could be wrong. So I'm still confused on why the fuck this tram still has power. No, I'm scared of being killed by ghosts. As Yuri waded into the mist over the Lake of the Departed, she was stopped by Mew. The distance between the girls seemed too narrow. Losing their parents at a young age and being able to see into the sound souls of others, the girls have more in common than they first have realized. Yuri still hasn't found Hisoka while Mew searches for her mother, Miku. Miku and Mayu, just to fill you guys in, are the characters from Fatal Frame 2. The eerie dark figure that appeared at the lake may just hold all the answers, but why does she keep calling out to Yuri? Yuri. 